Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. It is also widely used as an indicator of environmental sustainability. Carrying capacity often serves as the basis for sustainable development policies that attempt to balance the needs of today against the resources that will be needed in the future. Take our lead. In a population at its carrying capacity, there are as many organisms of that species as the habitat can support. If resources are being used faster than they are being replenished, then the species has exceeded its carrying capacity. If this occurs, the population will then decrease in size. Make your mark, take our lead. Humans. Several estimates of the carrying capacity of the Earth for humans have been made with a wide range of population numbers. A 2001 UN report said that two-thirds of the estimates fall in the range of 4 billion to 16 billion with unspecified standard errors, with a median of about 10 billion. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Carrying capacity is the maximum number of a species an environment can support indefinitely. However, it is very difficult for ecologists to calculate human carrying capacity. Humans are a complex species. We do not reproduce, consume resources, and interact with our living environment uniformly. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. When we will reach our carrying capacity, I hope we will not see any time, water, food, shelter and resources will be very limited, per capita. People will be unhappy due to hunger, or maybe due to other reasons. The earth will be fine but will have no trees and a lot of polluted water in the ocean. Take our lead. Carrying capacity can be defined as a species average population size in a particular habitat. The species population size is limited by environmental factors like adequate food, shelter, water, and mates. If these needs are not met, the population will decrease until the resource rebounds. Make your mark, take our lead. To find carrying capacity on a graph, you need to locate the point on the graph where the population line is horizontal. Alternatively, the carrying capacity may be explicitly marked with a dotted horizontal line or a horizontal line of a different color. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Carrying capacity is most often presented in ecology textbooks as the constant K in the logistic population growth equation, derived and named by Pierre Verhulst in 1838, and rediscovered and published independently by Raymond Pearl and Lowell Reed in 1920, nt equals K1 plus A a minus RT integral for MD and DT equals RNK minus NK differential form where N is. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.